our last inductee I want to leave you with. You know, I'm a, I'm a basketball coach, and I don't get to go to a lot of wrestling events until I got to be AD. And I do know a lot of the officials, though, guys like, uh, you know, Bo Fulton and um, Matt Miller and Bobby Wickard and such. And there's always one ref at every tournament that it has a line of people waiting to talk to it. <laughs> Everybody wants to crowd around this guy. And I wonder who the heck that was. Well, I got to know this guy over the last year or so. Lanny R. Schneider. Lanny was born and raised in Worland, graduating from Worland High School in 1987. While at Worland High, Lanny participated in wrestling, Legion baseball, cross country for a year, then football for three years, earning All-State recognition as a defensive back his senior year. Noted though for his wrestling career, Lanny, as a freshman, won the 3A state championship at, 19, at 98 pounds while wrestling for fellow Hall of Fame coach Tom Harrington. Lanny became a marked man for the rest of his high school career then, winning major tournaments such as the Rapid City Invite three times, the Bill Toman inviting Green River twice, and the Powell Invitational twice. Lanny would win the 3A state title as a sophomore at 105 pounds and then as a junior at 119 pounds. During his high school career, Lanny also competed in AAU tournaments around the country, getting sixth place at nationals in 1985 and fourth place in Greco-Roman nationals. He competed internationally even as a part of a cultural exchange to Finland and to the Soviet Union in 1986. Lanny finished his high school career by winning his fourth state championship at 126 pounds in 1987, becoming just the fourth high school wrestler in Wyoming history to be a four-time champion. Lanny's overall high school record was 107 and four, and he was named to Wrestling USA Magazine's 1987 All-American team. Lanny went on to the University of Wyoming where he was a four-time letter winner for the Cowboys wrestling team, earning freshman All-American honors from Wrestling USA uh, and was a two-time WAC national qualifier. He graduated from UW with honors in 1998 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Kinesiology and Physiology and went on to graduate school at Rocky Mountain College where he earned his Physician Assistance degree in 2002. In 2006, Lanny joined the Billings Clinic's Department of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. He specializes in orthopedic surgery. Lanny is a member of the Society of Emergency Physician Assistants and the American Academy of Physicians Assistants. He has also been a longtime wrestling official, refereeing in 23 state tournaments, and was the 2005 WSOA Official of the Year. He was selected as one of just 52 wrestling officials across the nation to officiate in the National High School Wrestling Duels in Orlando, Florida. So that networking paid off. Throughout his career, Lenny has been a mentor to many young wrestlers and officials. He now lives in Billings with his fiance, Allie. Ladies and gentlemen, Lanny Schneider. Um, I first have to just start off with wow. Um, this, that's a tough act to follow right there. Um, I wish you would all join me in applauding the people that were inducted tonight. Um, and I just want to say, I want to thank Aaron and the committee um, for even considering me. I'm humbled and I feel privileged to be a part of this, this evening tonight. Thank you very much. I'd also like to say congratulations and to the previous inductees. Um, it's very special to be a part of such a special group. And the folks that are come, gonna come in the classes behind us, I cannot wait to see and hear about the people that come from Wild and Wyoming. It's fantastic to be from here. When Aaron uh, first let me know about this, um, it really started to get, get you thinking. You kind of go back into the Wayback Machine. And, um, you get a lot of old memories that kind of keep popping up. And um, one of the things that popped into my head um, was how great it was to grow up in Worland, Wyoming. When I was a kid, I was the youngest of four boys. God bless my mom. <laughs> she was a saint. Um, 
but I would be running around town and I would be, you could ride your bike anywhere and you could go anywhere. They didn't, you didn't get worried about it. You got to go and do things and the river was right there. <coughs> the community knew what you were up to. If I was doing something wrong, I guarantee you my mom would find out about it. <laughs> you didn't get away with nothing. And that's a great place to grow up. You had every opportunity for sports. If you wanted to, to play, you got to play. You didn't get cut. You didn't have to worry about that. You, you got a chance to play, to participate. And that's, that's part of, of the experience of, of when, you, when you go out for a sport or when you want to go do something, you get a chance to do it. That's phenomenal to be in Vermont. There's a lot of great memories in high school of being on wrestling teams that won state championships individual state championships and awards. There's Rapid City Tournament going there. We won it for the first time in 13 years. Worldly Wyoming beat all those teams there. And I was a part of that team. And those guys were special on that team. There were not so great memories of the three-day practices in August for <laughs> football. The two-a-days that Dr. Herring, or that, that Coach Harrington would uh, would run for us uh, starting in January, but they also helped shape you and brought and helped you become the man that you are going to become. I was going to go over a story. I wanted to bring up something from back then, and I thought about some of the greatest stories we've had, and I, and I wanted to bring up one. And I think uh, Mr. Jerris back there in the back of the room remembers this one as well. And of course, it, it's Coach Harrington. Um, there's the trip to Idaho. I think it was 1983, and if I, I, I may be a little fuzzy on the details, so bear with me, and if you, if you, want, if you want to interject, please feel free. But uh, the summer wrestling, and Coach Eric was gonna take us to, to Idaho. We are gonna go to, to Meridian, Idaho, for a tournament. And uh, as he put it, he had probably 10, 12 pencil necks on his bus. <laughs> And uh, he, somehow he, he got a bus from the district, and I don't know how he did that. The details of that are still fuzzy, and they've never been really let out to the public, so I don't know <laughs> exactly what happened. But he got us a bus, and it was a fine machine. So off we go, and somewhere along the way, a starter goes out of our bus. And the reason why I picked this story is because it's kind of a mentality of what Worland is and what, what being from Worland is about, hard work, dedication, were we going to turn the bus around and call for help and go home? No. We're going to go wrestle. So every time we'd stop, Coach Eric had to find a place that had a nice long run. And the 12, 10, 12 pencil necks would get out and start pushing that bus. To get it going, get it up to speed, he'd pop it into gear. He'd start running. And then he'd slam open that, that bus door and you better hustle your ass up or you're getting left <laughs> <laughs> We'd pile on. And that's how we went to Brady and Idaho, wrestled in a wrestling tournament, and got home. <laughs> pushing a bus. <laughs> Along with those memories that I was talking about come the people who supported me and it meant so much to me but can't be here tonight. But I know they'd be so proud. So proud. There's the numerous teammates, coaches, fellow officials, and friends. There are too many to mention, but not to be forgotten. There's the ones that have passed on. My mom, Jackie. My big Stan. When she passed away, I lost the biggest family I ever had. They're my grandparents and my brother Spock. And they said, why do you know me? I remember. There's the people who support and love me now. The great group I got. Still with me all together. And they're here with me tonight. And I'd like to uh, just introduce them and just say a little word about them. There's Allie Welter, loves me unconditionally, and I am not an easy person to love. It can be hard, thank you. 
Here's my dad. He could not be here with us tonight. Some of you may know he's he's ill, he's not doing well. And he wanted to be here. He taught me how to work. And he taught me not to be afraid of work. Because work is what's going to get it done. Work is what's going to get you through. And I am forever grateful for the sacrifices and the things he did so I could be a wrestler at an LPA. There's my brother Brett Schneider. Came here from Texas. Flew in today. His wife's 50th birthday today. So you're welcome. <laughs> Brett is the epitome of the guy that worked the hardest, did all the right things, and never could get on the podium. Just did work. But he never stopped. He was my hero. <coughs> there are my friends Bo and Sam Fulton. I've met Bo through officiating, and I'm going to get into that a little bit. But they are the types of friends, and, and I know that it sounds cliche, but you could call them in the middle of the night. Without hesitation, they would be there for you. Thank you. Tom and Patty Henry. <clears throat> I think you all kind of picked up on how much I think of Tom Henry. And Patty, thank you. When you marry Tom, you marry a wrestling team. <laughs> you are sick. There's Tom and Carrie Johnson. They've come all the way from Helena, Montana. They've accepted me in their, into their family like I'm one of their own. And I, I am forever grateful for that. And there's Mike Boyd. I think Mike just jumped in the truck with Tom and Carrie. I don't know where he went. I met Mike a um, few years back in Billings, Montana, and again, he's one of those guys that will drop everything to be there for you. And we talk about surrounding yourself with the right people and positive people, and that's what Mike is. So thank you for giving me that moment to, to uh, thank those folks. Um, when I got going with my illustrious wrestling career, you try to make this transition from you are an athlete to now you're not an athlete and you look for something to fill the void and officiating gave me that it gave me a chance to be back on a team you know the guys in the stripes we're the team we're our team everybody else is mad at us <laughs> so we got each other so it's a brotherhood it's a team thing and so i really like that but then I started realizing that it was a chance for me to give something back. And it was back to a sport that had done so much for me. It taught me so many lessons. And I started to realize, I think it wasn't until I started fishing that it didn't matter about the wins and losses. It was the journey. It was the work and the setting the goals and trying to get there. And if you stumbled and fell, you got back up. You pulled yourself up again. And that's the message that I try to now, as an officiator, try to pass along to those young athletes. And, it, and it, wrestling is what I'm in, but it's, it works in, in all those athletic sports, and even in debate and, and all those things. It's the journey. It's the work. It's the, it's the failing. I can tell you all four of the rest of match. I could sit here and go through each one with you in my mind. I can't remember all this. The state championships, I think I won one five to nothing and I had a pin in one. But I can tell you each one of those losses. And that's what made me better. That's what made me get good, is the losses. And it's tough. It, as a high school athlete, it's, you had an official sitting there saying, it'll be okay. Eh, you know, you know, it's tough. But, but you hope that someday they, the light bulb comes on and they realize that. Those are lessons that you use every day. I use it every day in my professional career. And I'm so fortunate to work where I do and get to do the things that I do. 
I get to be in surgery. I get to see the human body in a way that, that I never believed I could. I've uh, made the comment several times in a, in a surgical case, I can't believe they're paying me to do this. <laughs> and I get a chance to help people when they're sometimes in their, their greatest hour of need. And I'm blessed to be able to do that. In closing, I think one thing that I've always loved to, uh, to say when I introduce myself to people, um, they ask what you do, and, and I'm, one of the greatest things I like to say is that I'm a wrestler, and I'm very proud to say that I'm a wrestler. But I'm even more proud to say I'm a wrestler for more than Wyoming. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.